Hi guys, I'm Guglielmo from Google Tech. They asked us to make a video how to mount the filter for the Twin 700 engine from Yamaha, the T7, MT7, Tracer, XS6R, and so on. Why so? Because there were some doubts how to service and prepare the filter for uh, special operations. Also, how to mount it without damaging the filter. It may, seem, may be sound strange, but it, it, it happened to one of our customers, so we prefer to uh, help you out to fix the filter and to prepare it properly. To remove the filter, this is the MT7. The difference between the MT7 and the other is just the position of the filter, not the filter itself. The filter is only one design. We've got both matrix, Ultra 4 for Rally, Sand, Race, Adventures, and Super 4 just for the street use, so the super power uh, street bikes. You remove the screws. As you can see, there are four screws, so you can remove the, cap the top of the, the, the filter cover. There is a fifth screw in the original Yamaha design, here, at the bottom of this. I still haven't understood, I don't know what it is, why it's there. I really don't know it. So, in my design, we didn't put it. You have to remove also that filter to remove the original one. Once removed, that's the filter. We got two plastic um, covers, one with an integrated gasket, it's here in the lip, and one at the bottom plus a mesh, mesh, metal outside, and just paper inside. Our design. Special Google Tech rubber on both sides, reinforced. There is no gasket because the whole filter is a gasket. This is why our filter seals much better than the original, because it's a full gasket. The whole structure is a gasket, and it's um, elastic and will stay elastic for many years to come. The mesh, we have mesh also inside and outside, which makes, which makes the filter stronger and easier to service and protect the matter itself, because through this, the filter is much stronger and robust. Let's mount it. Why? You can, you should oil the filter with the, the Rock Oil Factory Ecofoam. Why? Because it's the best that works with our matrices. It's eco-friendly, can be washed with simple lukewarm water and some dishwashing soap or home degreaser, mild ones. And it's really very well designed for dust and fine dust. So you prepare the filter. If you use a spray can like this one, when we suggest to use a sprinkle bottle, it's because you can propel much better the liquid, higher quantities of liquid through the matrix, so the matrix will soak better. If you use a spray like you would use on a cross bike or an enduro bike, make sure that whatever it's nebulized, it's very thin, there is very few particles going around. With the foam, you will just work the filter and allow the fluid to enter the filter. With our, you cannot. So once you use a spray can, please oil both sides correctly and check that the color is uh, uniform. It's very important. Then, preparation of the ceiling. We had plenty of tests, also for desert. There is no need to grease this surface because the sea, the ceiling surface, is much better than the original one and will <coughs> copy perfectly this lip inside the filter. But, since we're talking also about ultra-fine dust, like in South Africa, like in Australia, really it's two micron red dust, it's tremendous, or talc from, I don't know, a cave. Let's be sure. You will take some grease, Teflon, lithium, whatever you like, also ceiling grease. It's more expensive, it's, it works very nicely. And we take, just put a very, very thin layer on top. There is no need to exaggerate. Too much grease may go on top of the matrix, and wherever there is grease, the matrix will not work, because air cannot go through grease. Oil, yes, air, no. Grease, no. So, we just put very thin, and we smear, we spread it evenly on the surface. You've seen that we use very little grease. There is no need to go ballistic. This is not a KTM air box. KTM boxes are especially... <laughs> funny done, allow me to say so, and so you need more grease because surfaces are not closing as nice as this one. Ready, now, this, oops, this filter is not symmetric, and it's not the filter, the airbox is not symmetric, so it must enter easily, like in this case, like this. Now oh, the grease is not helping much. As you can see, it enters perfectly. The other way around, it won't match. So don't push it, just turn it the other way around, please. So, 
Once you mount the filter, you put back the cover. While screwing back everything, remember, this is not the plastic. It doesn't have to go to zero. The compression set we decided is bigger than the original one, so you don't have to collapse totally the plastic on top of glass plastic. Once the plastic has squeezed down the filter, by feeling, it's done, it's sealed. It will never leak anything. So you put the screws, four screws. The fifth screw we never put. I don't know what it means, what, I, what it's for, so I will not put it. Sorry, I'm quite stubborn on this. Either I understand what, sorry, I've got, since I don't know what's, what's for, and since it doesn't make any difference in our filter, we didn't put it. We decided to go full special rubber reinforced because we think it's much better design than plastic on plastic plus a small seal that will compress and suddenly will never be there again because it's too thin. Once you compress once or twice, it will start leaking. While our rubber will always stay elastic and will keep and will seal much better during the years. Also during washing, mounting, mismounting, it will stay much better and softer than the original design. As you can see, I don't go to zero. There is no need to go to zero. I'm not going plastic on plastic like with the original one. Look. Here, there is still a gap, but this gap, once I touch this, it's done. It's, it's closed, it's sealed. The same at the bottom. There is no need to go too deep because this part is already sealing perfectly. So I just leave the gap. Don't go to zero. It will destroy the filter. Here at the bottom is already closed. Other side, also closed. There is no need to close more. No, perfectly closed. Filter is ready. Airbox is ready. Short video, I hope everything was, was quite clear. I believe that all of you were mounting it properly just to make sure, in case there were some doubts. I hope you liked the video. Please thumb up, subscribe to the channel. There will always be new infos, new videos, new curiosity about the motorcycle world and adventure world and Google Tech itself. And just follow us because we are a very nice company. We are doing the best to make your ride safer. Thank you.